Hello everyone, I am Hari Hadoop Online Trainer from Great Online Training. Before proceeding to watch this video, please go through my previous video that is HDFS Building Blocks. In this video, I am going to explain three important concepts that is replication, block placement strategy and rack awareness. So let me go through replication first. So before knowing about the replication, let me recollect the definition of Hadoop that is Hadoop is an open source software framework for distributed storage and distributed processing of large data sets on clusters of commodity hardware here the thing need to concentrate is commodity hardware so you are storing data in commodity hardware that is cheaper hardware so in HDFS the hardware you are using to store the data is cheap so as you are using cheaper hardware there is high probability of crashing the data nodes or hardware and also there is a chance of data corruption in this cheaper hardware so to overcome this Hadoop will maintain multiple copies of the data that is it will store multiple copies of each block at different place or you can say on different nodes so this is what called as replication so replication is the storing of multiple copies in different nodes in HDFS so the default replication in HDFS is 3 that means each block will be stored in 3 nodes or at 3 places this is what replication is and what is block placement strategy simply it is a strategy to place the replicated blocks in data nodes so that means how you need to store the replicated blocks in data nodes so suppose uh, we are going with default replication 3 then where to store these three blocks will be decided based on the block placement strategy there is one default block placement strategy that I will show you now so generally this is how the name nodes and data nodes will be there the data nodes will be in racks actually so there will be multiple racks and each rack will have multiple data nodes and there will be a name node which is coordinating all these data nodes so we have three racks rack 1 rack 2 and rack 3 and each rack is having four four data nodes those are d1 d2 d3 d4 d5 d6 d7 d8 similarly till d12 and here i have three blocks that is block a block b and block c so and i am using the re default replication that is de uh, default replication 3 so i need to place each block in three data nodes that means i need to maintain three replicas of each block so let me pick the block a and I will first store the block A on data node D1. Suppose my client is currently on data node D1. So now I need to store the block A on three different data nodes. So initially the client will store the block on the data node which it is uh, staying or I can say the nearest data node to the client uh, let me say my client is near data node d1 so uh, my client stored the block a of i mean first copy of block a on data node d1 and then it will store the other copy in a different rack that means it is not on rack 1 so it will go to a different rack so that is on d5 which is on rack 2 so my, my second copy of the block a will store in d5 
because it is on a different rack and now the third copy I will store on the same rack but on a different data node so that is like D6 so this is how we'll place block A in D1, D5, D6 so why we have followed this as I al already told there is high chance of crashing data nodes or sometimes crashing the rack that is the complete rack so to avoid uh, or to to retain my data so I need to store the data on our data blocks on different racks and also a different data nodes so let me say if my data node d1 got failed then I can data I can get data from d5 or d6 or sometimes suppose let me say the rack 2 is completely failed so then you can't get data from d5 d6 then you need to get data from d1 so this is the default block block placement strategy that is you will store the first block on the nearest data node and you will store the other two blocks on a different rack and those two blocks are also on a different data nodes on the same rack so this is how the block A will be stored and let me see how the block B also will be stored so now my client is on D6 so the nearest data node is D6 so I will store the first copy of block B on D6 then I will store the other copy on some other rack that is on rack 3 I can take any of the data nodes so let me take D10 so I will store the second copy on D10 and the third on D11 so a different data node and if you observe one copy will be on one rack and the other two copies will be on the other rack that also on different data nodes and now let me store the uh, block C that can be stored either on D11 or D12 so let me take D12 so I will store the first copy on D12 and the second copy on a different rack so let me take rack 1 so that is D4 and the other uh, third copy is on D2 something like this so the, ba the basic concept of this default block placement strategy is you need to place a first copy on a rack on a data node on a rack and the other two copies on a different rack and in that different rack also you need to place the two blocks on different data nodes you can see that so this is the basic concept of replication and block placement strategy there will be some other block placement strategies but that will tell you how the blocks need to be replicated so this is one of the block placement strategy we are following that is the default block placement strategy hope you clear about this now I will explain the rack awareness so rack awareness basically is name node will be aware of all the data nodes in all the racks that means what are all the data nodes available or what are all the data nodes coordinating with the name node and in which racks they are present so let me say I have all these three racks with 12 data nodes and I have a name node so the name node will have all the information of all these data nodes and racks so this is what we'll call rack awareness so that means the name node is rack aware so it will have all the information how it will have all the information so data nodes frequently will send heartbeats that I have explained in my previous video so data nodes will send heartbeats to name node saying that I am alive and I am present in this rack and this place something like that so based on that name node know that these are the data nodes available and they are on these racks so this is what rack awareness of name node so this is one of the example so let me uh, also consider if some of the data nodes got crashed uh, let me say consider d7 so if it got crashed so 
name node won't get any updates from data node D7. Then it came to know that data node D7 is not anymore. That means it might be crashed or some other problem, but it was unable to access or see data node D7. And also consider that the complete rack got failed. That is the rack 3 is got failed or crashed. So it was unable to access the data on rack 3 also. So then how the name node is having this information? So something like this, it is rack ever. So it will see, uh, it will get the updates from all first four data nodes from rack one. So it will have rack one, it is having D1, D2, D3 and D4. And it is also getting updates from D5, D6 and D8, D8 not from D7. So it will ma maintain the information like in rack two, D5, D6 and D8 are available. And it, it won't get any information from rack three as it got already failed. So it won't have information. So this is what is the rack awareness of a name node. Now, if I want to store these blocks onto the cluster, which I have shown here. So suppose take block A. So the first copy of block A as usual, it will be stored on D1. And the next block will be on rack 2 that will be on d5 and the third replica of block a will be on d6 so now consider block b uh, as i explained in the previous example so i will again store block b on d6 that is the first copy of block b and now i want to store second copy of block b so i need to store the second replica of block B on another rack that is other than rack 2 so I should use rack 1 as rack 3 got failed so I will store the block B second replica on rack 1 either on D1 D2 D3 or D4 so let me consider D3 and the third replica of block B on D4 so this is how will store the replicas of these blocks but how we came to know that we should not store data on rack 3 because there is no communication between name node and the data nodes on rack 3 so name node decided that these data nodes are not available so I need to store the data on some other racks so that's what it is rack aware so that it can plan to store the data blocks on other racks that is rack 1 and rack 2 so this is what rack awareness of name node and this will be useful to know on which data nodes we need to store the data blocks If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you want to get more updates from Great Online Training, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.